Two days ago, I started with a crypto portfolio of only $20 and ramped it up to $3,000, only trading meme coins. But today was not a good day and I lost almost $1,000. Now, I'm going to show you exactly all the trades, what happened to it. And I want to show you how you can actually reverse when you have a bad day to use it back to have a really good day in the end which is what i'm going to show you in this video three things you can do that will make you for sure be a winner just after but first thing is one of the biggest mistake you can do it's called revenge trading so when you're into a trade and you got out the trade you see that it's going back up and then you're like i'm disappointed I want to get back into that trade. I'm going to show you all the bad trades I did so you can avoid those mistakes. And then if you don't do any bad trades, you're going to do only good trades. Make some 10x, 100x, 200x, 1,000, 50,000, 600x. And the reverence trading, you can actually see it everywhere in your life. It's the disparate guy who tried to get back his girlfriend. It's the guy who had more time when he received a bad hit start to be angry and put all his power, it's going to get wrecked. And it's also the guy who tried to be handsome finance. It's going to be complicated. So when you lose, just accept it. And that's going to be the first thing to do. For example, on this trade, I invested $700 and lost $90 live on YouTube. Yes, it's not easy. Trading live, it's even worse. And to be fair, I got in because I saw the price going up. Did I follow my plan? Did I understand that? No, I did not understand the meme. So that's the first thing I can check is like, I did not follow my plan. Normally, I only buy if I vibe with the meme. If I like it, I feel some kind of connection. Why? Because like this, I can defend the bag. So unless there's an insider information or that I know this will fly no matter what, I try to stay out. And truly, that's the biggest mistake people will do. Always, they will try to revenge trade. So they will not leave the platform until they get a win. But that's not how you're going to change to make money. Now we try to avoid to lose money. And the second trade here, Lily, which was terrible as well, was a launch on Moonshot. Someone bought most of the supply and then it sold everywhere. I lost a lot of money on here, this one as well. Luckily, I bought early on Moonshot. Just a reminder, Moonshot is a copy of Pumped Fun, but by Deck Screener. And the cool thing is that if... You reach the bonding curve and then it gets traded on radium. So everywhere anyone can buy it on Solana. Then you get some fees from the trading if you're in the top 50 orders. So I thought, why not? It would be cool. But that was my two bad trades. After that, I decided to take a break. I was like, okay, today the mojo is not here. And when the mojo is not here, we leave the club. We go and have a restful and peaceful night. But there are three things we can do to change everything or trajectory and to be here to the top. I have to be careful to not put my hand like that and the arm like that. That would be weird. I'm not German, so I'm not going to joke like that, okay? Of course, as we say, the first thing is to get back to your plan, go back to your philosophy. How did you do it? I have a full video on how I trade. I show it live. But what I like to do when I have a bad day is to focus on the tools. How can I trade better next time? How can I improve and for example what i did is to set up proper auto sell so if you use bullex you have a link in the description to skip the waiting list and have a discount on the fees you can create some automations those automation when you create a strategy you can put like to this video and then you will choose okay when it's minus 30 percent i would say you sell everything when you see a plus 200%, you can take 30% off. Then you will add some other limit orders. Like this, automatically, I will take profit no matter what happened on the market. I save this strategy and it's on. I could also customize the gas here, but should be fine with the priority fee, the bribe fee. We are good. This is just to make your order faster on the blockchain. So far, the network doesn't require you too much. So this would be a good thing to do. By the way, welcome on Handsome Finance, where we study what's happening on chain because the blockchain is not religious. So we can see all the transactions, know who made money, who lost money, and we can show exactly when I bought, when I sold, and what happened. So don't forget to put down your little matcha and let's get to it. Second thing I do is, for example, let me just go into, of course, I select a bad coin when I try to show something. Let's go like whatever, Jack here. And then I will set up my fee profile so that's the one i would set cheapo default and fast i can add a preset which would be subscribe why wow, it's so funny antoine and then on the subscribe i will 
personalize here my gas limit. So for example, if I want something fast, I will increase it. The sleep age, same here. I will change so it's good. So if you want a good one for most people will be cheaper, which is 0.001, 30%. I do not have the MAB protection and zero bribe. And same for the sales setting. So if you are investing less than one Solana or less than 0.5, you can follow those settings, it will be enough. If you're investing more than one Solana, then you should know what you're doing. Otherwise, why you are not in the investor's boardroom? You're making a mistake here or there. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, do not trade alone. Trade in group. That's the thing. When you're in group, you're going to have people that's going to help you to say, don't try to revenge trade. You are going to revenge trade. You're going to burn yourself. But that's not the only thing I do. I also work on my tools and building new stuff. So for example, with Stoke Chain, you will have a link in the description. It will come out today or tomorrow. We have a bit of a waiting list, so you may not be one of the first to use it, but we will analyze what's going on on the tokens. For example, GLP, GLP, I can see that they had massive buy-in recently in DCA, which we can actually see directly because Giga on the 1003, we have minus half a million and minus 200K in people selling this year which create this red candle by the way so it would have been good to short but it's not the only thing we have also the top tokens and we improve the wallet finders with the guys so now any pnl you have for example you have a pnl from bullex boom 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 we will know exactly what is the wallet cabal finder find consistent recurring top traders based on a list of token addresses so let's say you put five token and it will tell you all the insiders in it all the cabal same as we have the token insiders based on the token address so the cabal finder will help you find all the traders that were into all those trades which means that probably they were a group and token insiders, well, to find insiders. So those tools will be really powerful for myself and for other traders because that helps you to find better KOL wallets and to see what is the trend on the each meme coins. And that's more like for your longer term play. So that's what I do. Like if I have bad trading day, I stop. And I'm not trading 8 to 12 hours a day like some people. Like I do one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, sometimes maximum three hours and in two sessions. So this is exactly what happened. I was like, I did my setup, I got my tools, and then I was like, I'm going to take it easy. A lot of people I see, they will be, when they are winning, I'm going to order Red Lobster. And when they are losing, they're going to host the instant noodle. Shift the things around, shift it. Imagine how you would feel. If you hit yourself twice, the market makes you feel bad and you're going to eat something that makes you feel bad. Treat yourself. Get a massage. In Thailand, it's cheap. And if you don't live in Thailand, go live in Thailand. Treat yourself well even when you are losing. You cannot let the market dictate how you should react and how your emotion should be. It should be always consistent. It's the same. You went clubbing. No one wanted you. Yeah, because it's stupid. You should day game. Doing the day is a lot better. That's another topic for another channel. But if you want to win, you just do the same thing every day, no matter what. So don't swing your emotions. You're not on period, right? Okay, if you're not on period, click thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I know it's working because it's exactly what I did. In the evening, I was like, okay, I'm going to do another trading session. Easy peasy. I'm not going to try to win if I don't find anything, I don't get in. And I made $258, which is not crazy. It's not like $2,000 like the one I did when I was not live, but it's good. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to check. If I find something, I'm going to get in. I saw that one arriving on Pump Fun. I was like, that's pretty good. It went live. They had the website. It was something about dog. It's on TikTok. They have some funny videos. He's always in a pack of eggs. And I like eating eggs, but... Still, it was short-lived. Most meme coins will be short-lived. And on that one, I didn't even try to stay for hours. I went in, I was like, okay, I'm getting my stuff, I'm going out. And it's not a reason when you had a loss to just try to recover that loss. Your previous bet should never influence your current bet. It's the past. That's it. You can learn from it, but it should not be like, oh, I lost $300, so... As soon as I'm up $300, I sell everything, so I'm back at zero. No. What are you proving to yourself? Follow your plan. And if you follow your plan, you're going to realize that you can watch the full live here 
where I'm losing. And then actually all the people were winning because I was with people from the investors boardroom and, and they made some good call. I just didn't add it that day. But you check that and you stay handsome, then everything will be okay. Ciao.